love is the only thing I know Ay, When it's black rain, then you know it's gon' pour huh? Running up the score is the only thing I know huh? If I need a comeback, I'm clutching a fork And I'm getting sticky with the stick work too Ay, It's already over if I kick first Ooh, huh? Top 100, they can get work too Ay, First in the world, and it's got me in a mood All right, man, we are one day closer to the official drop of Man 24. Man. Whew. I can't wait. I had a dream last night about Madden. First time, like, if, if y'all know me, I, I really don't really, like, take Madden serious. But then, it, oh, oh, before we even get into the, the, the con, the, the, that conversation, thank y'all so much, man. Thank y'all so much. 10 million plus views on this channel right here. 10 million plus views on this channel right now. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up for y'all. Clap it up for y'all. Without that, without y'all, those views are not possible. So I really appreciate y'all. On the other channel, Black Rain 42, we got over 1.2 million views on that one. Y'all know I started that channel late. Um, but 10 million plus views on this channel. Mm. And when I seen that, I said, because because it, it pops up, it was like an achievement on your YouTube, but it comes up in like a little notification box, a little box. And I'm just looking at my stuff yesterday, and I just seen like three days. It was it was like three days ago. 10 million views. I was like, what? Wow. 10 million plus views, bro. 10 million damn we 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 done put in some work but you know i do drop a video every single for the past three years i think i've dropped the video every single year for the past three years i've dropped the video every did i say every single year three for the last three years i've dropped the video every single day we've been grinding man but i was about to say y'all know i don't really care too much about like the man community as far as like Knowing the pro players or, or knowing like what the official scheme is or like how no this year I'm diving into it. This year we're gonna try to take Madden serious. Um as far as the we're gonna treat this year like Madden 20. Madden 20, I took Madden serious. 21, 22. Didn't really, you know what I'm saying, dive all the way into it. Just wanted to get into the content side of it. You know what I'm saying? Madden 21, I did a lot of trash talks and I did franchises, Madden 22. We did some franchises. We did trash talk videos. We did like scheme over team. Um, Mad twenty three. We just went straight into the content side of it again, and then at the end of this year, I just now started like grinding like wins, grinding wins. So Mad twenty four, I'm gonna dive straight into it, grinding, grinding wins, grinding wins, man. Because I mean that's. I mean, if you're not doing on the content side of it, the content side is not going, doing good for you. Then you got to jump into like the competitive side with the win side of it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, can't wait for Man 24, man. Do me a big favor, man. Smash that like button. Um, if you're new, hit that sub button. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With Flex Play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with Prize Picks, including Famous Los, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, Prize Picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props. 
Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download Prize Picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. So today we have the number four player in the world right here, man. He is a YouTuber. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to say his first name. Y'all know Music YT. And very first play of the game, that could have been a pick. Now the reason I threw that because I realized it was cover two. So we threw it right there. Just a nice solid read. But um, he's a YouTuber, man. He's a YouTuber. And he's ranked number four on the leaderboard. Now, somebody was telling... Now, I, I know how it's going to work, man. I, I already know how the leaderboard's going to work. And this is just sad. I hope they change it and surprise us. But do you understand that I could be undefeated on the leaderboard? Do you understand that I could be undefeated? Like, like I could literally sit here and be... 1400 wins, zero losses on this leaderboard. But somebody with 1450 wins and 1300 losses can be ahead of me on the leaderboard. Because, like, it literally has nothing, like, the losses mean nothing. It's about the ranking score, and I think you get ranking more ranking points for more wins. So, I could literally sit here and be undefeated on the leaderboard and not be number one on the leaderboard. But I think where I'm gonna, like, what I'm going to still be advanced at is even if I'm not number one, which is I will most likely be number one. There's like a 90% chance of me being number one. <clears throat> if I'm not number one, I will have the number one record. So I can still, I will still be able to post, you know what I'm saying? Number one record, number one ranked head to head record. Number one regs record. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the leaderboard is not going to respect the, the, the record. I know the leaderboard is not going to respect it. The leaderboard is not going to respect it. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have people ask me, whenever I post number one record, people are going to say, well, you're not ranked number one. Then that's where I got to get into the conversation of telling people and explaining to people and showing people the leaderboard. Because a lot of people don't know about the leaderboard. All they know is that rank. And they know about the rank because that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Usually the number one player, the number one player has the best record. Usually the number one player has the best record. But whenever you, whenever they don't, people get to asking questions. Well, how the hell? Why the hell? Is and then they finally, and then they finally figure out that it's a EA problem and not like a, it's not a me problem. It's not like there's guys that are just with better records than mine. No, the, the leaderboard is just actually flawed. The leaderboard is trash. You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm happy, but bro, nobody cares about the rigged leaderboard. They do. The casuals do care, bro. And I like to put out content for the casuals anyway. And people going to say, okay, nobody cares about the leaderboard, bro. Nobody cares about your your rigs record. They do. Because when they go and try to buy ebooks, they trying to buy it from a, a reliable source. I had somebody comment yesterday and say, why do people buy ebooks when you can get the shit for free off of YouTube and off of uh, TikTok? Well, usually, I ain't gonna say 100% of the time, but usually the people that's posting the shit on YouTube and TikTok aren't reliable people. That's like, that's like, that's like Steph Curry offering up shooting classes. And you say, why would I? Why would I go to Steph Curry to try to figure out how to shoot when I can when I can go on YouTube and, and, and figure out how to shoot uh, how to shoot threes? It's like, do you really like? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You can learn how to do it off YouTube. Yeah, for sure you can. Yeah, you can. Or you can learn from the very best shooter. You know what I'm saying? And then on YouTube and, and, and TikTok, it's not going to be all the information you need. You can sit here and watch somebody. I'm talking about like just just regular YouTube videos. Somebody's gonna put out a scheme how to do this and how to do that on YouTube, and it's like, okay, that wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? I need the full package. I need the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's why people buy uh, eBooks. You know what I'm saying? It's the it's the full it's the full package. Dude got up out of there right there, man. You know what I'm saying? That was starting to get ugly. Thirty to thirteen. Um, and take a look at his record. So, 
That right there was 72 wins in a row for me. And he's ranked number four. But look at the record. 1,646 wins and 1,363 losses. That's just, that's. And he's able to say he's ranked number four. Now, I'm not saying that I should be ahead of him because I have not put in near as much work as him. But somebody with a good record would not even be close to And I'm not trying to explain because, you know what I'm saying, I obviously does not have a 1,000 games played or nothing like that. He obviously has, you know, 3,000 games played. You know what I'm saying? 2,999 games played. You know... Damn, my math is going. 3,009 games played. He has 3,009 games played. So, but I, I would just be so upset if I'm on the leaderboard, right? And my record is 1,500 wins, 300 losses. I would be so upset if he is ranked ahead of me. Because he has more wins. I wish this box right here actually meant something on the Rigs leaderboard. But it don't. So the whole issue with me is going to be like. I'm going to. Somebody can somebody can play for. Somebody can play for. Somebody can. In, in, in one day somebody can go. 12 wins, 8 losses in a day. I probably can't play 20 games in a day. I might can go 15, no. I might can go 11 and 11 and 1 that day. He's going to be ahead of me on the leaderboard because he has one more win than me. 12 and 8 is nowhere near better than 11 and 1. But they'll have him ahead of me on the leaderboard. I just wish there was somebody you could talk to. I just wish that like we could actually get in contact with EA about this shit because like the shit's crazy, bro. Like it just honestly makes no sense to me. Now we got Agent 15, man. Agent 15. Um Lamar Jackson user. Lamar Jackson user. Man, bro. The leaderboard kills me, bro. Because I grinded it in Madden 20. And the only reason I stopped is it's the simple fact that I was 1,400 wins, 125 losses. And there was a guy who had 1,500 wins and like 1,200 losses ahead of me. Now, back on the leaderboard in Madden 20, they didn't show like everybody's record. So you had to match up with them to actually see their record. So we had to, you had to ask somebody like, "Yo, what's your record, bro?" You couldn't see your rec you couldn't see that record unless you matched up with them. And it's funny because uh, there was there was YouTubers posting only their wins on YouTube, and you could never and you never knew their record. You never knew their record. Unless they slipped up and showed it. And then the only way you can see their record is if somebody with a reliable source who actually played them would send it to you. Like I was playing this one, I, it was this one YouTuber, bro. He would never post a loss. He was number one on the leaderboard on. Oh, I might have been. Yeah, at one point in time, he was number one on the leaderboard on Xbox. He was number one on the leaderboard on Xbox. And, um,. He would never post his losses. So only time you see him is if he won. And then if he did lose, and you asked him, like, yo, bro, why didn't you post it? Why didn't you post it? Oh, I didn't record it. You didn't record it. But you record every win. But every loss, you didn't record it. So then people would get slick and like they would match up versus him. And they would beat him, or or whether they lost or not, they would screenshot it and send me his record. Like, yo, bro, please expose this dude, bro, because he out here faking like he ain't never lost a game. And then when we actually seen his record, 
it was horrible. Dude, dude would play a bunch of dude record like. Now it, it was, I ain't gonna say it was horrible. He had like two thousand, two thousand wins, and like a thousand losses. But we sit here like, bro, you mean to tell me that you just say he lost a thousand times, and ain't posted not one. And and I was trying to explain to him, and we had a conversation. I'm trying to explain to him, like, listen, bro, do you understand that some of your best content is losses? That was nice stick work right there. Did, did y'all people stop and go to get Lamar blocked up? Did y'all people stop? Did y'all peep to stop and go to get Lamar blocked up? But that 96 speed ain't no joke. You feel me? He running. Uh, stop. Get blocked up for a little second. Now catch me if you can. And he damn near did. You feel me? He damn near did. But do you understand? Like, like even if you lost, and it's a very, very close game. Like a very close game. And you got beat by Hail Mary. He's not posting that shit because he lost. He don't want his fans to say he lost. And it's like, that shit was so weird to me. Like, bro. Like, we know that you lose sometimes, bro. But the fact that you see him just posting your wins every single game, every single day, is ass, bro. That right there was 73 wins in a row. Um, they just matching me up versus anybody at this point. 54 wins, 55 losses. I can't I can't argue about who I'm getting matched up with, you feel me? I can't argue about who I'm getting matched up with. Now we got Anonymous, man. V Anonymous, Z5 or some shit. Um, dude was decent. Dude was decent. Right there, he tried to lurk that. Um, but yeah, if you're an upcoming YouTuber, man, depends on what your route is. Um, if you're trying to show people that you're a comp YouTuber, then I can understand at, at first not posting losses, but then again, I can't. Um, because you got to understand and respect the fact that you just have to be good. If you're going to be a comp YouTuber, you just got to be good. Show people that you can win. Show people that you're actually good. And then whenever you do lose, they'll respect it more because it's like, okay, this dude, this dude actually lost and he showed us that he lost. Like, okay, we can respect that. But if you losing and you act here acting like you ain't lose or, or no, nah, bro, that, that was, no, nah, I ain't never took no loss, bro. Hell no. Nah, ain't nobody better than me. That's just lame as hell, bro. So one thing about me, if I do lose, I can't wait to post it. I might skip a couple wins to post that loss. Just because I know it's going to get more views. It's going to get way more views than any... I ain't going to say way more views than any win, but it's going to get more views. Simply because I've had people tell me, bro, we like it when you lose, bro. It's better content when you lose. That right there are 74 wins in a row. Like this record right here. This record right here. 750 wins, 534 losses. It's trash. There's no way you can look at this record and say that's a good record. He's run 316. The more games he play, the more wins he get, he gonna he gonna be in that top 100 soon. Which is crazy to me. It's just, I just, it's hard to understand. Right here, we got the Eagles. Got them Eagles. It's so hard for me to understand the way this leaderboard is set up. Like, why? Who in, who invented <clears throat> third and six with a dot? Who invented this leaderboard? It's a leaderboard that just want it just they just want you to grind. They just want you to play. They don't care about win percentage. They just want you to just just play. And the race leaderboard is for the casuals, and it's wild to me because it's your it's your it's your realistic game mode. It is your realistic game mode. Realistic. Like, you can play with the Eagles in real life. You can play with the Packers in real life. Shit is, it's actually insane to me, bro. Like, who created, who thought that that leaderboard, who, like, what? Who? I'm getting pissed off now, right here. He, I mean, this is this when I knew he didn't know what he was doing. You're going to have two receivers on the field. It got to be uh, Brown, and it should be Watkins. Speed. If you're gonna run this right here, that gotta be Watkins. Has to be. What is it? 97, 98 speed? Gotta be. Of course we're gonna keep up with Smith, but Watkins, that would have been a burner. But whose mind whose whose mental first said let's create the leaderboard like this right here? 
That man's mind needs to be tested. He needs to stay off of the weed. Off the weed. Off the drink. Off of that. Yeah. Off of all that shit. Because Leaderboard is actually disgusting, bro. And if this is your first time watching, at the end of this video, we're going to actually go through the leaderboard so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And there's a great person on the leaderboard with a great representation of how weird the leaderboard is. There's a dude on the leaderboard with 2,400 wins and 600 losses, and he's behind the number four player who has a shitty record. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he's a shitty player, but he has a shitty record. And usually, if you have a shitty record, usually, if you have a shitty record, you're a shitty player. And you're going to have people, bro, I got disconnection losses. But I don't lose. You ain't disconnected losses no 1,400 times. You ain't you might you probably got fifty disconnection losses, and that's me being generous. But you ain't disconnected. Madden ain't, ain't ain't disconnected you no 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 motherfucker fourteen hundred times. Usually, if you have a shitty record, you have a shitty team. Now we can't say that about real life because in real life some teams be actually decent, but they took a they they had an injury or something like. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no injuries on Madden. You playing with your full roster every single game. So there's honestly really, I must say there's honestly kind of no no excuse for a shitty record because the more games you play, the better you should get. I say I think the more games you play, the better you should get. Now you might start off with a team that that, that you don't like at first, and and they and you lose them more, and then you finally and then you finally find your team, you finally find your scheme. But now you gotta get, you know what I'm saying? Now you gotta get your record right. Right here, I played this game so smart, bro. I played this game so smart. I'm chewing clock. Because he has zero timeouts left. And I want to make sure we get two possessions before the half. But I don't want him to get the ball back at halftime. And uh, right here on third and goal. And this, is, and this is how weird this game is, bro. I, I need y'all to see something. So he ran commit, right? He ran commit. Everybody except for that guy over there. Everybody ran commit. Everybody ran commit except for him. You, and this is usually the route I throw it to. So once I look, I hike the ball and see all these guys. I, I look at this left side first because there's more people. And I don't even look at this right here. But when I hike the ball and I see all these guys, I say, that's a run commit. So he should be wide open. Everybody ran commit except for him. Look at this shit now. Everybody ran commit except for one person. Everybody ran commit except for him. That shit is wild to me. That shit is wild to me, bro. That shit is, except for Chauncey Gardner Johnson. So I had to, uh, I had, I wanted to make sure I was up two possessions so he kicked the field goal. Nothing, no, no, there's no need to risk it. No need to risk that at all. No need to risk it for the biscuit at all. Right here, he audible. We went to cover three. Went a couple three, threw it down the middle of the field. We got a nice, nice, nice interception. Nice interception. Yone is right there. And um, he got up out of there. And that right there is four 75 wins in a row. 75 wins in a row. We defeated our old record. My old record was 73, 72. My old record was 72 wins. My old record was 72 wins in a row. Back in Madden 20, and now we just defeated in Madden 23 with 75 wins in a row. Show you guys the leaderboard real quick, man. All right, take a look at the leaderboard, right? The number one player, 2,800 wins, 2,300 losses. Wow. And then it's it, the, the leaderboard is so weird that you really can't figure out how this shit works. 2,400 wins, 1,700 losses. This guy has more wins than this guy. This guy has more losses than this guy. But this guy is ahead of this guy. Because of ranking points. And I think it has to do something with this right here. Team. I think... I think I figured out how to get more ranking points. I think I fi I think I just now I think I just now figured it out. 
this is the secret. I'm gonna tell y'all this right here is the secret. I ain't gonna tell y'all what y'all gotta do, but that's the secret. That's the secret. Because because yeah, that's yeah, that's the secret. But it, it this makes no sense. Y'all can't tell me based on this leaderboard right now, this guy right here should not be number one. This guy should 100 percent be number one. This guy, based on this record, should be ahead of both of those guys. So, and that's what's gonna throw me off. That's what's gonna throw me off because I'm gonna be sitting here wondering how the fuck this, these guys got more fucking ranking points than me when I got more wins and, 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 and less losses than a lot of guys. So that's what's gonna throw me off in Madden 24. I already know it. I already know it because we can't get no explanation for it. That's what's really gonna throw me off. But do me a big favor, man. Shout out to me once again. Shout out to y'all. Excuse me once again for 10 million views. Um, ebooks are still on pre-sale right now for 20%, uh, 50% off. Ebooks are 50% off right now on BlackRainsBend.com. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. If you're new, hit that sub button and do me the biggest favor ever, man. Smash that like button. Hey, Black Rain. Oh, yeah. Huh.